The park isn't open yet, but the mother says many kids still come to the area and all the chemicals and tires pose a health hazard. Playing in a park on a day like today seems like a good idea. And Mary Riojas and her daughter Isabella would agree most of the time. But Rioja says it's not so great when a used oil dispensary is so close to a newly built park. I could not believe that they were actually building a park right next to it. Past Thursday, Riojas was at the recreation center a block away when she snapped this photo. And in only a matter of days, the response from the community was incredible. Sunday morning, the city sent a worker to clean up the area. The worker says there are five sites throughout Laredo, and by far, this one, located near Cigarroa High School, is the worst. The problem? Stop! You are being photographed. Even with security cameras, people don't follow the rules. Illegal dumping of tires, paint, and spray cans, and not properly dispensing oil have led to all this. Even things you wouldn't think to find here, like discarded chicken carcass and its eggs. I thought I'd come back to see how the cleanup went. The tires, trash, and cans were all cleaned up, but in just a couple of hours, new bottles of oil were left. Also, the citizens of Laredo would also notice that, you know, it, it is dangerous for you to do that. But I think at the same time, what is it doing there? And why is there a park? We couldn't immediately reach Laredo City Council member Esteban Rangel, but on a Facebook page called Laredo Out Loud, when addressing the issue, he writes, the city plans on removing the used oil site to a more secluded area. And several residents say they plan to contact the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality. They feel even if the oil site is moved, the ground is too saturated with oil for kids to be around.